Hello, and in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the append method. Now, the append method, like the prepend method, adds a node to the list, except the append method adds the node to the back of the list, whereas the prepend method adds the node to the beginning of the list. So, taking a look at this, we have a situation where we have an empty linked list. So we're left with the constructor, essentially. And this is the exact same case as the prepend empty linked list. Header.next is referencing the newly created node. And last node is then referencing the last node. So let's take a look at case two, a non-empty linked list. In this situation, we want to add a new node. So we have a reference to the last node. So all we have to do is link these two nodes up like here and then have last node reference the last node which is the newly the new node we want to insert into our list. So let's get started. So we're going to go to linked list. I'm going to say public. And I want to write this under the prepend method. Just a per personal preference. Public void append. Wow. Integer data. Now we're going to create a new node. So same as the prepend method. And we're actually going to do the same exact thing from the prepend method if we have an empty list. So just copy that. So header.next gets a reference to the new node and last node gets the reference to the new node because there's only one node, the newly added node to our list. So what's the other situation? Let's take a look at the diagram again. So the diagram has this. So currently we have something like this. We want to add a new node. We have a reference to the last node. Let's think of this step by step. First, I want to link these two nodes together. So last node, which is this one, has to link these two. So I want last node to reference this. So what should it be? Last node dot next. Dot next is this part and I want to reference n, the newly created node. So let's say n. Now what's the next step? Next step has last node referencing n. So let's do it. Last node reference n. And now our final step, increment the size. So now that we have our two string method actually uh, working, let's test it. So I want to get rid of this because I don't want it. List.append, right? So we're going to say five, uh, give me some space. So five, six, seven, eight. And I have one too much. Let's print the list. And there we go. Our original list was this, 4321 from our prepend. We are adding to the back of the list. So five, six, seven, eight. So you can see that our append method is indeed working. 